Karl Polanyi's The Great Transformation, The Political and Economic Origins of Our Time, presents a profound analysis of the socio-economic changes that culminated in the modern capitalist society. Polanyi argues that the development of the market economy in the 19th century was not a natural progression but a deliberate and often destructive process that fundamentally altered social relations and economic systems. Central to Polanyi's thesis is the concept of the double movement, which describes the simultaneous push for market expansion and the societal pushback against the adverse effects of unregulated markets. Polanyi contends that prior to the rise of market economies, societies were governed by principles of reciprocity, redistribution, and householding, where economic activities were embedded within social relations. The shift towards a market economy required the disembedding of economic activities from social contexts, transforming land, labor, and money into fictitious commodities. This commodification, according to Polanyi, was inherently flawed because these elements are not true commodities, they are integral parts of human society and nature, and their subjugation to market forces leads to social dislocation and environmental degradation. The historical narrative Polanyi constructs highlights the social and political upheavals that accompanied the rise of market economies. He examines the enclosure movement in England, which displaced rural populations and created a labor force for burgeoning industries. This transformation, Polanyi argues, was facilitated by state intervention, contradicting the laissez-faire ideology that markets function best without government interference. He suggests that the state's role in creating and sustaining market economies exposes the fallacy of self-regulating markets. Polanyi also critiques the liberal economic thought that dominated the 19th century, particularly the belief in the self-regulating market and the gold standard. He asserts that the pursuit of a self-regulating market led to social disintegration, prompting protective counter-movements. These movements sought to re-embed economic activities within social frameworks, advocating for social protections, labor rights, and environmental regulations. Polanyi views these protective measures not as hindrances to economic progress but as necessary responses to the destructive tendencies of unregulated markets. The interwar period serves as a crucial case study in Polanyi's analysis. He examines the social and economic crises that led to the rise of fascism and socialism, interpreting these political movements as reactions to the failures of liberal capitalism. Polanyi argues that the devastation of World War I and the Great Depression exposed the vulnerabilities of market economies and underscored the need for societal protection against market excesses. The New Deal in the United States and various social democratic policies in Europe are presented as examples of successful re-embedding of the economy within social contexts. Polanyi's work remains relevant in contemporary discussions about globalization, neoliberalism, and economic inequality. His critique of market fundamentalism challenges the notion that economic policies should prioritize market efficiency over social welfare. Polanyi's insights into the role of the state in shaping economic systems resonate with current debates about government intervention in the economy, especially in the context of financial crises and environmental challenges. The Great Transformation also highlights the importance of social solidarity and collective action in addressing economic injustices. Polanyi's analysis suggests that societies must balance economic activities with social needs, advocating for a more humane and sustainable economic system. His emphasis on the destructive potential of unregulated markets serves as a cautionary tale against the unchecked pursuit of market liberalization. In conclusion, Karl Polanyi's The Great Transformation offers a compelling critique of the development of market economies and the social consequences of their expansion. His analysis of the double movement, the commodification of land, labor, and money, and the role of the state in economic transformation provides valuable insights into the complexities of economic and social change. Polanyi's work underscores the need for a balanced approach to economic policy, one that considers the well-being of society as a whole rather than prioritizing market efficiency at the expense of social and environmental stability.